What up, guys? Peter Duda, Santiago, coming back at you. Today's Sunday. I'm my dash Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Happy Father's Day to my father. Uh, this video is yesterday's content. I'm just going to tell you what happened. You can watch the video. I got a parking ticket for the first time. I forgot my red card. I had to unassign an order and make $9 less than I really wanted to. And we had the nationwide DoorDash app crash. You'll see some of that in the video. I did have some positives. Uh, made some good decisions and some stacked orders and was really in a good groove. Didn't dash a lot. Made good money per hour though. Um, hit the, listen, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. Hit that subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Leave a comment on your goals. You guys are great. I do gig work in St. Louis for those of you that don't know. This channel is about betting on you, setting goals, doing it one day at a time. Listen, that's all I'm going to say. Let's get into the content. I'll see you guys tomorrow. But actually, also, I got to leave you one more thing. The reaction video to the full right here guys uh, uh, interview he did with uh, the president of DoorDash, Mr. Painful, as I'm calling him, that will be out tomorrow, not today. You guys are great. Look out for that one, though. I think you might enjoy it. Deuces. Happy Father's Day. Man, I, I'm at KFC. I, I'm getting this order. I didn't confirm pickup yet. And uh, I get a number, 650. I'll call, get a phone call on my Dash phone, which is like nobody has this number. And uh, I get a stacked offer, so I hit confirm stacked, and like the phone didn't, the call went away. He call, I get another call. I'm like, is this the DoorDash Council calling me to say that made it to the round three? Nah, it was the customer. You got my order yet? Yeah, I just picked it up. How long before you get here? Uh, about 10 minutes, maybe? All right, well, hurry up. And the guy hung up the phone. <laughs> Little does he know I'm picking up another order. His rude behind's gonna have to wait. Alright, so that actually wound up being 12 bucks, not 850. So I'll take that all day. Let's go drop off this other one. There you go, man. Thanks, man. Well, that was easy. No pad necessary, no keypad necessary. Ooh, ooh, easy drop. Oh my god, this is I'm just gonna keep y'all with me. This is too easy. Come on, door closed. I ain't got time for that. Who's calling me on my dash phone? What is going on? You guys see this? Hello, this is Pedro. Hey, um, are you outside? Uh, I'm actually right at your door. I'm getting ready to knock on the door. Said hand to you. Oh, okay, cool. 205, right? Yep, 205. Okay, see you in a minute. I've done three deliveries today, and two out of the three have called me. I don't know what's going on today. All right, guys, going to Crab Landings. This used to be a really popular spot that changed, like, closed a couple months back. I forget the name of it. It was super popular. Now it's this. So let's go inside and pick it up. It was $6.25. Eight items at a place like this going 600 and something yards. So this order should probably be more than $6.25. Really virtually no miles on the car. Let's see what we get. <laughs> oh, you already know what it is. What's up, man? Oh, man. Might be a while. I feel like it might be a while. But I just got it. It's all good. Got my first ticket. $25 ticket. Parking. So they're doing an event down here. And um, that order wanted to be a 925 anyways. So they're doing an event down here. 
there's no parking. It's downtown. Like, it's you just can't park down here. Anyways, uh, you know, stupid me. There's like a, I'm about two feet taking up a spot where there's a yellow uh, on the sidewalk. Like, but there's a parking meter behind me. So I guess it's for the car that's behind me. I'm not in anybody's way, man. Look at it. So this is what's in front of me. Okay. Look. This is what's behind me. Like, I'm not, this is not a, I'm not, in, I'm not obstructing that, that thing right there. The, the, the gated area. Yeah, this guy, that's the guy that gave me the ticket. But look, man, look, this is where I'm parked. Like, look at this. They just want our money, man. They want our money. They want our money. Shame on me. I should have known better, but I don't know. I was maybe 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes. Learn from my mistakes, guys. But I'll tell you what. That just... I mean, that's 25 bucks for 925 So that order I just did, I actually lost money on it. So you got people just driving around, like, enforcing baloney tickets like that. I have no words. All right, guys. Take a little bit of a break kind of slow out here plus i need to reset my mind after getting that ticket listen first ticket i've ever gotten and i've done over four thousand i'm at almost oh, three, six, nine, i'm at like 4500 combined trips or deliveries at the end of the day i can't be mad at it because it was on me technically but like i said it's kind of like getting like jaywalking and like getting a ticket so you can be mad for a second let's reset the brain let's see what we get tonight see you guys in a little bit all right, guys, we got a $9 and some change from Terra Tacos. Getting ready to drop it off. I want to show you, share with you guys something. I've talked about it a few times, but whoever's new to this channel, maybe you don't know. Um, you'll have customers that can, that can select hand to customer like this particular one does, or you'll have customers that say leave it at the door. Most people will have it marked it for leave at the door. When it says that, you can hit the, um, you got to take a picture. When it's hand to customer, it doesn't, the app won't prompt you to take a picture. So this customer selected hand to customer and then they put in, I'm at the apartment, bring it, uh, set it at my door, um, set it at my door. So if I do that, I'm not, it's not going to prompt me to take a picture. What I recommend and what I do is I hit the text icon, take a picture of it through that, send it to them via text so that I have proof that I did it and I still leave it at the door for them. Just protects you because, you know, without the proof, maybe they say I didn't get it or I was drop off at the wrong place, something like that. So I just do that to protect myself. Let's go drop it off. I've delivered here before. I ended my night one time here. So I, she did the same thing last time. I got a pretty good memory. Let's go drop it off. Man, I got too many phones in this car. 525, 10.1 miles. So St. Louis Pizza and Wings, they have their own delivery drivers, but when they get busy or they're short staffed, they use DoorDash to try to take that order. I'm good, I ain't taking that. Or their drivers take the good orders and give us the crap. Either way, that, look at look at the just, that. Let me just decline it and shut up. Let's see what we get next. All right, good start tonight and then nothing. But look at this. I want I want to break down an order. Oh, somebody's sending me an image. Oh, what's going on here? Anyways, Walgreens. I don't mind Walgreens, but look at the miles. That's great. Merchant miles match four dollars. There's no tip on that. Seven items. They want me to shop seven items. They're not leaving me a tip. Decline. I'm not doing that. I've done those before. Um, if that's seven bucks and i feel like i got a three or four dollar tip i'll actually do seven items for that for that amount of miles but not not for no tip i'm not i'm not shopping for somebody for no tip and i know that's not a tip because they up the base pay on orders like that what what is going on, on my phone oh i don't know what i don't know what that's about all right so we got another offer okay okay oh, this is a fringe let's talk about this 525. I'll do orders like that if the miles and money's right. Let's look at the miles. 1.7. Okay, I'm close to the Taco Bell. So by the time I get to Taco Bell, it's probably another 0.7 miles or so. That's it. And then seven items. Taco Bell, the item count doesn't matter because sauce packets, they count those. So that's not a big indicator of anything. Uh, there is a tip on there. That's a $3 tip because 225 is my base pay. Um, 10 seconds. Uh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it because this Taco Bell is quick. The drop off. Street towards South Spring Avenue. The, the drop off leaves me in my zone. Plus the the it's a 50 50 shot that they might stack it with another good offer going low miles. Let's go pick it up. Okay, so I said 50 50 shot that they would stack it, and they stacked it. Seven bucks 
for two miles. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Um, it goes just two miles south, which is good. Um, still leaves me in my zone. I turned a 525 into a 1225 for three point, like for basically four miles. That's great. I'll take that all day long. Um, let's go do, let's go drop this one off. I don't mind from certain merchants taking us uh, an order that is smaller. That's why I don't definitively have, or every order has to be $7 or $8. A lot of people do that. That's fine. You got to know your market. In my market where I like to dash and where I know my merchants and where I feel comfortable with the miles and comfortable with the neighborhood, I'm going to get a lot of five, six, seven dollar $7 offers. I'll do those all day if the miles are low. Let's go pick it up. Know your market. I figured Taco Bell would not be fat, not be slow here because they're not usually busy at this time of the day. So I made the right decision on this order. I right decision that they stacked it. Loving it all day long. Hey, how you going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You going here with your order? I actually have two pickups. Um, I got okay. a Autumn, Autumn, and Patricia. All right. Do me a favor. Go right to the door. Park a lot, and I'll bring you out to you. Okay. Thanks. Order says knock on door, so we shall knock on the door and leave at the door. Oh, I get there and I feel like water, or moisture, or something dripping down, something wet dripping on my face. I look up and there's an air conditioner. <laughs> I was like, What is a bird just pooped on me? What's going on here? Let's see. That was seven dollars see if it wanted to be in anymore Ooh, seven to 13 nice so that that turned out to be 18 dollars and 25 cents because i took the 525 offer without taking that offer i don't get that offer let's go to the next all one. right we've been out for an hour and a half exactly we're at 35 bucks i'll take that i just i needed i wanted to make 60 bucks so i only got 25 more dollars to go um because I'm not going to work tomorrow. I worked a little bit this morning, afternoon, a little bit. So I just wanted to get to a particular benchmark for this week. And uh, tomorrow's Father's Day. I plan on hanging out and not doing a whole lot, actually. I say that now, and then I know I'll get that itch. Like, ooh, is there money to be made? But I'm not going to do it. So I just want to make 60 bucks um, for the dinner shift because that puts me in a good spot, like I said. So 25 more dollars. I think that's probably going to be three orders. Hopefully we can just do it in two. We'll see what we get next. This is what we got next. So Walgreens is to my right. It's right there. I can see the door. I'm right on top of it. But 475. Oh, it's only one mile. It's it's not horrible, but I'm not I'm not gonna spend some time for that amount of money at that merchant. They're not gonna stack that order for me, so that's enough. Give me giving you guys the sky view. It's about the thunderstorm hardcore. You may not be able to tell yet, but it's about the thunderstorm. I got warnings on my phone. Oh man, I don't know if I want to be out in the thunderstorms. Let's see, let's see what we get. Oh, I don't have a lot of time. Oh Lord, eight bucks, four miles. Little Caesars, they could stack it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it for this reason. Let's let's dissect my thought process behind this, okay? So this Little Caesars is just behind me and it's south. The drop off is it state keeps me in my area. The Little Caesars, like 75% of the time, I'll it gets stacked from there because there's there's a Cordoba right there and a China King right there. So the likelihood of it getting stacked is high with another order for about that amount of money. Um, let's go pick it up. When you know, you know. They stacked it as expected. Seven, two point, yep, all day. We needed $25, now we're gonna be at at least 15. 10 more dollars to go after we drop these off. Know your market. Sometimes I will use my gut and I will take an offer that isn't like, doesn't appear to be the best, but I know they're probably gonna stack it. And it, it winds up being a lot better than originally, right? But listen, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, try it out in your market. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it feels good. Raining, thundering. 
Let's go and drop off. Listen to the rain, heavy rain. I've talked about this many times. When this happens, we need what's called rain pay. Forget the peak pay, give us rain pay. I need rain pay. Dairy Queen pick up, you gotta call that number. She brings it out, let's go. In the rain, baby, I don't stop. I ain't stopping just cause it's raining. I don't even care. 10 more dollars to go. Woo. Let's talk. I've shown you guys orders from Walmart where it was like eight orders for, and it said $3 or $2. So I think they fixed it. I've never seen a payout this high. I've heard of them with Uber and such. I've never seen a payout this high from Walmart. Okay, ever. Never. And I get, I have probably gotten, I've gotten thousands of Walmart orders. $43 in store pickup. I've never seen that. Did they fix something? Did they change something? Um, it's five orders for 33 miles. Still not a great money tomorrow. I mean, that's all over the place. I'm not taking it, but I wanted to show you guys this. Maybe we're gonna see some changes, some payout changes, or what they show us changes with Walmart. Still not going, but knowledge is power. Let me know if you guys see the same thing. Okay, look at this, 17 bucks, one merchant, one only two items but that racanelli see i'm the blue dot the drop off is perfect it's in this area right but the pizza place is far so they want me to go eight miles go about seven miles and come back about another 10 or whatever it is yeah man that's tempting but no i'm not driving i'm not gonna spend all that time and all the miles i think i could do a lot better than that so look see right there i don't know if you guys can, it doesn't matter so that's where i came and parked okay Oh man, I need a dash cam. Oh, shh, seven seconds. 1975 mobile. Okay, I took it. Because they're both going south. Um, yeah, they're both, south. they're both going south. They're not going as close to my blocks as I would hope, but both of these merchants are good. Good payout, I'll be over my goal for the week by a little bit, I'll take that. Let's look at the deliver two for the, the last one, which will be the furthest. Um, oh wait, it's 28. Yeah, this is good. This drops me. It, it takes me uh, five after I do the last drop off. I'm gonna be five minutes away from home. Let's go on these pickups. Not raining as much. Light, just a light little drizzle. <laughs> just ran into a major problem. I don't have my red card. And the Raisin Canes, I need my red card. And I think I left it at home when I went to change earlier. So now, oh God, am I taking one of these? Am I gonna have to complete one of these orders and it's gonna be a crap order for all that? I'm gonna lose out on, uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna lose out on because it didn't, I didn't, I didn't see individually what they were. Shoot, man, dang it, dang, dang, dang. I'm going to have to unassign this order. Can I, I just confirmed the pickup for the first one. I don't know if I can. Oh, man. Oh, this is the word. I've never done that before. I lost. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have it. Oh, man. I got to call support now because you can't unassign. See, if I hit the question mark at the top right and I hit Megan Raising Canes, look, this is what it gives me. I have to go to Dash for support because I confirmed the other one. I shouldn't have did that. I usually don't. I'm not sure why I did. Just kind of screwed myself a little bit. I did. So now I got to call Dasher Support and I have to have them on assign this order because I don't have my card and I'm going to lose out on money. Hi, uh, I am, uh, my name is Pedro. I'm on a Dash. It was a stacked offer. I don't have my red card, so I can't do the second one. So I need to know if you guys can unassign it because I'm on my way to the first one and I can't unassign since I confirmed pickup on that one already. Yes, it's from Megan Raising Canes. Yeah, that's the one I can't do because I don't have my card. I'll be making the order. I'm in one here. Just to get the one. We just want one or two minutes. Okay. 
Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Hold, hold on, okay, thanks. Uh, no, you, you only unassigned the Raising Canes for Megan, right? Uh, yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Got it. There's nothing else. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right. The DoorDash gods have looked upon us, so he, uh, good, nice support agent, actually. But anyway, so after he unassigned it, then I could see the payout for the one that I'm doing. So it was 19-something, right? 10 bucks for this one, so I'll be done. I got lucky. Woohoo! Don't forget your red card, guys. I'm still losing out on nine bucks, but it's overall, it's still fine. It's worth it. Um, I'm happy to see that, that. So that one was, the one I wasn't able to do was $9. This one's $10.25. Let's go drop this off, and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget, bet on you set goals one day at a time. Comment below about, uh, about your goals and how you guys are doing, and, and if you guys like this video or not, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps it out. We're almost at 4K, guys. We'll probably be at 4K. And, two or three days. So uh, you guys are awesome. Deuces. Whew. All right. 60 bucks, two hours, 20 minutes. Well, 59.68 to be exact. 59.68. Should have been an extra nine bucks, but I forgot my card. Listen, play chess, not checkers. Strategically, sometimes when I take orders, I know the drop off is going to leave me in this spot. Likelihood of getting another order is really good. Likelihood of it going in a direction where I want to go, very good based on customer patterns of ordering and things like that. Think about that when you guys are dashing. Deuces, I'm out. Okay, I'm on a delivery, a stacked one. I just drop off the first one, trying to drop off the second one. The dash app's been down for five minutes. I can't. I tried it on both phones. This is what it's doing. I've restarted both phones. Still doing that. Oh, become now we're saying become a dasher. Like I'm not a dasher already. What is going on, man? Email. I don't even. I don't know this information actually. I legit don't know. I'm gonna try to put it in. I guess I need to write write your stuff down, guys, because I, I think I used the same... I don't know. I have no idea. Sign in. Let's see if it lets me... Nope. I, I don't know what my password is, dude. Come on, man. I have so many passwords. Like, uh, how am I going to... I think that's it. I don't know. This is... Now I'm getting mad. Now I'm getting mad. Got it. Okay. I remembered it. It's one of three things I use. Okay, you gonna let me sign in? What is what is Oh, how is a billion dollar company have like and it's a tech company have the worst tech, man? How like how? It just said check mark and it still won't let me sign in. What the Oh man, look at this. Login error. Now we're saying login error. I guess everybody else is trying to call DoorDash too because it's, I don't know what I'm supposed to, this poor, I got their food. I'm wasting all of this time. Come on, tech company. How's a tech company have such crappy tech, man? I mean, it's so, the app is more complicated than it needs to be. Glitches galore. Like how? Like like. How? So I had this person's food and I have no way of getting it to her. I know this, I kind of know this area, like, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know, what, I have no idea to do. It's never happened before. I guess it's not that big of a deal, as much as I dash, this has never happened, but I know there's been glitches, I've seen them, but I've never had this happen. I can't log in on any device. I said I, I tried to reset my password and they didn't send me an email yet. Um, 
The DoorDash isn't answering the phone. I looked at the bag to see if there was a number. Sometimes there is, there's no number on the bag. This is garbage. So now I'm just sitting here with this person's food and I'm hijacked and their food's hijacked and I'm, I should be home already. I should be done with my day. DoorDash is lowering my pay and now they're wasting my time. And they don't care. All right, it's confirmed. It's down nationwide. I talked to some people. Um, never experienced this. The only glitch I've experienced before was a few months back and like it was sending uh, one order like out multiple times and like multiple dashes would get in. Like I remember that happened. And I wind up getting, I wind up getting, I wind up getting paid for work I didn't do and like, you know, whatever. So I am actually sitting in McNair I'm sitting on the street where I know this cuss because I saw that the street. And I knew like when I zoomed in the area, like I just don't know the number. So I'm sitting here and if they're looking at the app and their side isn't down, they're probably seeing where is this driver? Where is Pedro? Like why has he hijacked my food? I don't want to just go home because then I got the food. I don't know what DoorDash's protocol is. I have no idea. I don't want to go home and like eat this person's food. Like that's ridiculous. But I don't, I don't know what to do. I can't end that. I can't do anything. I don't... Um, I should probably just go home and stop tripping, right? Because it's a nationwide issue. And they'll probably send some communication out at some point And that Dash app will come back on. But I kind of... I'm going to wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it five minutes. And then I'm going to go home. Sorry that this has happened to us, guys. Usually, I guess when things like this happen, they should come up with... Oh, I just got a text from them. Oh, great. This is good. This is good. Oh, wow. Okay. I am so sorry. I have your food, but the DoorDash app is down nationwide. So when I went to go deliver it, all the information is gone. I'm at McNair. Can you share your address with me and I can bring it right to you? Woo. Okay. So that was live. So she texted me. Hi, just checking in on my DoorDash order. Okay, so I can get this food to this person. So the text messaging part is not down. So let's see what they say. It's down nationwide. So when I went to go deliver it, all the information that's gone, I'm at McNair. Can you share? Because I know she was on McNair. Let's see if I'm right. I'm going to feel really good if I can get this person their food. Like I'll feel like that's a W in this situation. Like not for me, but for them. I've wasted 30 minutes now. And then the, the first order I dropped off, I wasn't able to complete that. So I don't know what will happen with that, but stay tuned. Oh, it's on Menard, not McNair. That's not, okay. Okay, that's not far. So she gave me the address. Let's go deliver this food 30 minutes later. Menard, I thought it was McNair. I, th I knew it was Mick something, M something. And I knew the area was like, you know, close to my house, like South City-ish, borderline downtown. I feel so good that they actually text me, but they were probably seeing like, why is this guy like sitting like his car hasn't moved? Like, I feel so bad. I'm sure they'll probably get a refund. That's what I, I, I'm i going to tell them. Please call DoorDash and they might be able to do something for you. The inconvenience. I am going to be able to get their food to them. I got it in a hot bag, but you know, hot bags are hot bags. You know what I'm saying? I got the air on. It's hot. So it's like, oh man, that was something. That was something. Gig life, man. I, I We can't make this stuff up. For those of you out there that say like, oh, it's easy work. Yeah, it can be easy sometimes. It's not rocket science. It's not manual hard labor. We're not saving lives, but things pop up. Things happen and they can be a little stressful. They can be a little uh, frustrating, right? It's work, you know what I'm saying? But I'm very, very pleased that the customer reached out to me and they did it in a very nice way. They weren't like, you know, rude or anything. Oh, crazy. There it is. Ooh. Good Lord, this one, man, I'm gonna get a one star on this one.